What is the future of air travel? What will air travel look like in 2035 and beyond? As a futurist, I look at future trends and in this video, I look at the six key trends in the aviation industry and how the flying experience will change over the next few decades. Air travel has a reputation for being cramped and uncomfortable and expensive, particularly at peak times. Air travel is also a major contributor of greenhouse gases that cause climate change. But major changes are happening to air travel and I hope that they will mean traveling by plane will be more affordable, more comfortable and more environmentally friendly. So here are some ways that air travel will change in the future. My first one is we will see hydrogen powered planes. Aviation is currently responsible for just under 4% of the EU's greenhouse gas emissions due to the fact that modern planes use kerosene as fuel. A recent report suggested that hydrogen powered planes could enter the market as soon as 2035. And those planes would carry hundreds more passengers per flight than traditional planes with a very clean energy source that just produces water. My second one is going beyond traditional wing design. A blended wing design combines the wing and the fuselage into a single unit so the entire aircraft provides the lift for the flight. And delta wings like those used on the Concorde and high-speed military jets may also be incorporated into commercial planes. For example, KLM is also working with Delft University of Technology on a flying V plane. Uh, that has passenger cabins down each side of the V-shaped aircraft. The company claims that this type of plane could offer 20% more fuel efficiency than an Airbus A350, for example. My third trend is futuristic cabin design. Airlines are constantly looking for ways to maximize the amount of people they can put on each flight without sacrificing the comfort for passengers. And in the future, we may see improvements such as double-decker economy seats uh, that promise more space for riders paired with increased capacity for airlines. I've even seen really interesting business class pots that give you complete space that can again be stacked uh, horizontally. My fourth trend is that we will see air taxis. Um, have you been longing to ride in a flying car that feels like we're going straight back to Back to the Future or the Jetsons? Um, aviation companies are researching uh, ways to shift local transportation from the road to the air, with, especially with electrically powered air taxis for short flights. In 2017, uh, for example, Volocopter completed their maiden flight for electrified individual air transport and the Lilium jet uh, from Munich is reported to be able to fly 300 kilometers per hour. So they have a five-seater air taxi that could start operating as early as 2025. And traveling by air taxi could be as common as traveling by subway or uh, road in major cities today. Autonomous air taxis may follow shortly after as technology continues to evolve. My fifth trend is a return to supersonic flights. United plans to buy 50 new supersonic airliners and hopes to return supersonic speeds to aviation by the year 2029. Previous supersonic passenger flights ended in, 20, uh, in 2003 when British Airways and Air France retired the Concorde. And the definition of supersonic flight is basically when an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound, which is more than a thousand kilometers per hour or 660 miles per hour. So super fast and it could mean we could cross the Atlantic in uh, just a few hours. 
And my sixth trend is better in-flight entertainment. Um, in-flight ent entertainment options of the future will include more screens, more gaming, and even the ability to take an e-course during your flight. Companies like Panasonic are also developing ways for passengers to improve wellness on flights by setting up lighting to regulate uh, circadiation rhythms on, on long-haul flights and dampening cabin, uh, cabin noise to promote better sleep. One area I'm particularly excited about is virtual reality and augmented reality. And companies are anxious to give travelers this more immersive experience in flights. I've re recently written about the latest HTC lightweight headset that gives people um, virtual reality experiences. So you can connect it to the phone and then you have a whole cinema experience on a plane. And Alaska, Alaska Airlines and British Airways, for example, have already trialed Skylight's VR headset in first class cabins on selected routes. So we are going to see a, much, a lot more of this as development of this whole metaverse continue and there will be huge opportunities for passengers to experience this immersive um, watching gaming and everything else in flights. To learn more about any of these business and technology trends that are transforming today's world, check out my new book, Business Trends in Practice, and my other book, Tech Trends in Practice, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.